Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on using virtual desktops in Windows 10. Free and easy tips. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by moving our cursor over to our taskbar and clicking on the virtual desktop icon. And as you can see up top, I have an icon that says flashing. That's because I have my screen recorder open. But let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge so that we have something else open on our desktop here. And this is um, our virtual desktop number one. And we can go ahead and use the uh, Microsoft Edge browser at this time and uh, do what we need to do. Now let's go ahead and click on the virtual desktop again, come over to the right hand corner, click on the plus, and that opens up our second virtual desktop. And in this desktop, let's go ahead and open up something different. Let's click on our start menu. And let's see, let's go up top here and go ahead and click on alarms and uh, um, clock. And at this point, I can use the alarm and clock app on the second virtual desktop and as you can see I can go ahead and click on virtual desktop again and click on plus des um, add a new one and open up uh, something else in our third virtual desktop and let's scroll on down maybe we can open up Microsoft Office uh, Word that's a good one we'll open that up and once we have Microsoft Office Word open, we can go ahead and use it. Within our virtual desktop number three that we just opened up. And uh, let's go back to our taskbar, click on our desktop, our virtual desktop icon. And as you can see, I have three of them open at this time. And I can multitask between all three of them. Now to close them, you simply click on the X. And as you can see, it moves the application that was open in the first or the third virtual desktop over to the second one. So now I have the alarm and clock as well as the Microsoft Word open in the second virtual desktop. So I can use both those applications. So let me go ahead and close that um, and also close um, the Microsoft Word um, application. Well, I'll leave it open. At any rate, let's go ahead and click on uh, the desktop icon and we'll close the uh, virtual desktop number two. And as you can see, the reason I left the um, Microsoft Word open, it moved the um, application over to virtual desktop number one. So I can use Microsoft Word um, in virtual desktop number one as well as use the Microsoft Edge in virtual desktop number one. Alright, let me go ahead and close Microsoft Edge and um, let me go ahead and click on the taskbar and as you can see I'm back to my um, existing desktop and that's how you go about using virtual desktops. Now keep in mind um, the number of virtual desktops is virtually unlimited depending on the amount of memory and uh, storage you have um, on your um, computer system. All right, um, that's it for this tutorial. Subscribe and like my video.